Okay, we are live. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Um, I really want to do this very quickly today. Uh, I unfortunately saw this video um, that was absolutely shocking. So um, I just want to preface this video due to the title by saying I am not making the statement or the claim that Obama is the Antichrist or that he is the son of perdition. I am, however, um, saying that this remark that he gave uh, while encouraging college students at the University of Illinois to go and vote uh, was very Antichrist. Again, like I said, not claiming he is the son of perdition, um, but that his statement was antichrist okay and um we know that if we read in first john 2 um starting in verse 18 it says little children it is the last time and as ye have heard that antichrist sh that antichrist shall come even now are there many antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time okay and um so just thinking about that right now, okay, thinking about that scripture, I want to show you, I'm going to share a screen and show you the video um, of what Obama had said, and then we're going to talk just briefly about it, but I did want to bring this to your attention if you had not yet seen it. Um, and so for my uh, other Christian brothers and sisters who seem to think that, you know, Obama is a good guy and all this stuff. You have to understand who he's working for. Um, and he, his remark here made it very, very clear. So just stick with me. It's only a three minute video and it, I, I assure you it'll be worth your while. We return now to former President Obama's remarks today to students at the University of Illinois. From pointed criticism on the current state of politics to calling for more common ground, one message was consistent, urging people to vote. I'm here today because this is one of those pivotal moments when every one of us, as citizens of the United States, need to determine just who it is that we are, just what it is that we stand for. And as a fellow citizen, not as an ex-president, but as a fellow citizen, I'm here to deliver a simple message, and that is that you need to vote because our democracy depends on it. Over the past few decades, the politics of division and resentment and paranoia is unfortunate. I want to just point something out here. He says the politics of division and resentment and paranoia. Um, this is obviously a pointed attack towards truthers, talking about paranoia, talking about, you know, people who obviously don't have their full trust in the government because we put our trust into uh, a savior. And so the politics he's talking about of division and all of this obviously is going to bring forward, right, that um, one world, you know, new world order, the um coming together of religion, you know, one religion, one currency, you know, just bringing everything all together in a unified body. Um, and he's already priming you for that. He's only found a home in the Republican Party. They're undermining our alliances, closing up to Russia. What happened to the Republican Party? It's central organizing principle in foreign policy was the fight against communism. And now they're cozying up to the former head of the KGB. And by the way, the, the claim that everything will turn out okay because there are people inside the White House who secretly aren't following the president's orders. That is not a check. I'm being serious here. That's not how our democracy is supposed to work. They're not doing us a service by actively promoting 90% of the crazy stuff that's coming out of this White House, and then saying, don't worry, we're preventing the other 10%. Should not be and I just want to say something when he's talking about all this crazy stuff coming out of the White House. You know, this stuff was already going on. It's just, you know, other um, people are a little bit better at hiding it, okay? So we're, things are coming out into the open now. And so none of this should really be a shock to a lot of people. But here's where um, his remarks are you're going to see are going to be very uh, antichrist. Partisan issue. To say that we do not pressure the attorney general or the FBI to use the criminal justice system as a cudgel to punish our political opponents. We're supposed to stand up to discrimination. And 
we're sure as heck supposed to stand up clearly and unequivocally to Nazi sympathizers. And I just want to say that as well. Um, if you do the research about Nazism and Zionism and, and um, read anything in relation to Albert Pike, you will understand a little bit more uh, about how all of these things, you know, are obviously planned in a way to create that hatred. And so um, that is not, if you're listening to this, you know, and you, this is new for you, you know, this is not something that we as followers of Christ, you know, um, support. Uh, but, you know, to say that the Republican Party as a whole is just that, uh, you know, Nazi sympathizers, I mean, it's, that's, that's a very vast and sweeping statement for him to make, but you see what he's doing here, you know, um, the audience that he's speaking to, and this is where you're getting that liberal, uh, really liberal brainwashing that occurs um, at the university level. But here, um, let's continue. saying that Nazis are bad. You cannot sit back and wait for a savior. I'm going to play that part one more time. Sit back and wait for a savior. You can't opt out because you don't feel sufficiently inspired by this or that particular candidate. This is not a rock concert. This is not Coachella. You don't need a messiah. That was a very specific word to use there, Mr. Obama. Let's try that one again. You don't need a messiah. So we don't need a savior and we don't need a messiah. Messiah is a lot more specific than using a term like savior, you know, in the context of which you were trying to use it. Or are you really trying to tell people, you know, that, that, that they don't need Christ to deny Christ? I mean, if you don't see how Obama is of the antichrist spirit, I mean, he's telling you right here, we don't need a messiah. Messiah is a very specific word to use. Okay. Um, and and you can see how this is very detrimental to the American people spiritually, especially for those who are so lost um, that don't realize, I mean, how much saving they actually do need. Everybody, we all need a savior. Um, and it's not just isolated to American politics in 2018. I mean, this is obviously for our entire lives. We all need to be saved. Not one of us can save ourselves um, from, from death or from, you know, the the wages of sin, which is death, right? And then the price that is to be paid for that, which would have been eternity in hell. But, you know, because we have been, um, you know, we are justified in Christ and sanctified in, in him, uh, we have a savior, okay? Because we had the Messiah, the Messiah came, you know? And so what he's saying here, if you can't see this of Antichrist, I mean, it really is time to wake up. All we need are decent, honest, hardworking people who are accountable and who have America's best interests at heart. And they'll step up and they'll join our government and they will make things better if they have support. One election will not fix everything that needs to be fixed, but it will be a start. And you have to start it. And that was just. All right. So, um, like I said, you know, you can, you can really see this is very detrimental. Um, to be making these kind of statements. And if, you know, for people, I know I'm sure that most of my viewers already know this, okay, about Obama, but there are a lot of people out there who are very much deceived. Um, and even during my college experience, you know, I was very deceived by a lot of things. And so um, it is very easy to do that where we have to understand something about this liberal mindset is that these people, a lot of the times genuinely have something where they want to see um, good things, but they're brainwashed. Okay. Um, this, this is, this comes with, you know, this is part of the, the whole plan. Right. And so I just want, 
um, you know, in hearing this, I just want you guys to think about this today. You know, maybe you know somebody who's going through college. Um, and for those of you who are in college and, and hearing these types of things, don't be afraid to challenge, you know, what is being said, especially if you have a Christian viewpoint. And for those of you, um, you know, who are just like, you know, the, we know the liberals are so um, out there, right? Try to just think about uh, where they're at. So, cause God meets us where we are. Right. And to just return them, return love, return love. Right. So that way nothing can be um, hurt in what to say about, you know, who we are and what we stand for. But I wanted to show this to you now because um, it's very unfortunate, but, you know, we're seeing this um, divide within the, um, within American politics where, uh, you know, conservatives are kind of painted as, basically, I guess, Nazi sympathizers that um, hate, that are discrimination, discriminate and hate everybody, um, which is unfortunate because that's very vast sweeping um, to kind of like bring people into one category to say that, that that is what they are. And then to then mark the the term Christian upon it. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't people that are like that because there are plenty who are very bad representations um, of a Christian, but I would say that they aren't truly in the faith then. And so, like I said, I just wanted to bring this to your attention today because, you know, he said it out of his own mouth. Um, you know, he said it out of his own mouth. He says that we don't need a savior and that we don't need a Messiah, very specifically Messiah. So if you know somebody who's an Obama supporter, um, who is, you know, all about this impeaching Trump thing, you know, if you know somebody, um, definitely share this video with them, show them. I mean, especially if it's somebody who claims to be a Christian and they're supporting the Democratic Party. I mean, it's right there. Uh, so I love you all so much, brothers and sisters. And like I said, I just wanted to have a chance to bring this to your um, attention. And so Right, exactly. I'm. I. I didn't really get a chance to read much of the comments or anything, but yes. Um, you know, that's getting into like the deeper stuff, right? He is a mason and all of that, but you know, fr coming from the understanding of how somebody who supports, you know, the that side, the left side, they don't know these things, they don't see these things this way. So you know, try to try to show them um, in a way that is loving and uh, just use his own words against him, right? Because. The, the, the logic's going to fail anyway. Um, but yeah, so again, thank you so much for watching and please share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, I do. It does help me. makes makes me feel like I'm doing my job, right? Um, and I will hopefully be back on here very soon to talk to you. Um, and also, please, please, please keep um, everybody in prayer uh, for what's happening right now with, in North Carolina and South Carolina. Um, with Hurricane Florence, because I know that um, they're already setting up, I guess, aid or something like that. But, you know, this is a time where we as followers of Christ can really shine um, and, and serving others, right? How important it is for us to take those who are low um, or, or that have been kind of broken down or had something taken away from them. And then we can really shine in this moment, right? To give back, to serve others. We are called into this kind of service to serve one another. And so, uh, in whatever way that you can, you know, first and foremost with our prayers, um, keep everybody in prayer. And, um, if you are able to, you know, help out with the efforts, I think that I may be going down there because I have family that's there. And so definitely keep me in your prayers concerning that. And I will keep you guys updated about what's happening there, uh, as I'll be there, um, firsthand, but yeah, so um, it was really, okay. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get off here now because I'm extremely tired and I'm starting to ramble, uh, go forth brothers and sisters in love and in peace and in boldness, uh, to preach the message of the gospel. Shalom and God bless you all. Thank you again.